Hey y'all, welcome back to another video. I am excited because we have another reaction to some TikToks. Now we're gonna find out it's supposed to be a little creepy, a little scary, a little interesting. I mean, come on guys, let's get into it. As always, <laughs> tuka, tuka. I just wanted to say to my brothers and sisters out there, it's very, very imperative, it's very important and make it a priority to exercise. If you don't stress your muscles, if you don't test your body and, and, and really, really build up your strength, you will die sooner. And a lot of, a lot of people gonna say, well, we all gotta die anyway. It's not about you dying anyway. It's not about how long you live. It's about the quality of your life. And if you wanna in, in, improve the quality of your life, you must get in that gym and work out. And what I mean by gym, your, the backyard can be your gym. Running a trail in nature can be your gym. All gymming is is exercise and introducing your muscles to a certain amount of stress to build up your cellular structure. So get in the gym, work out, test your body, test your mind, push your body, push your mind, and you'll thank me later. Work out. It's very essential that you work out. All right. I'm going to be honest. I like Brother Yaki. <laughs> He always speaks so much knowledge. Now, when it comes to this exercise thing, I believe what he's saying is true. Can you look at me? Do I look like I exercise? I need to. So I think I'm going to, <laughs> I'm going to take this seriously as well. Cause I have been trying to stretch every morning. Like that's one thing. Cause he did say, you know, it's very important that you use your muscles. If, even if you're not working out per se, just to make sure that you use them every day. I think that's a key fact because I used to be that person that would be like, oh, I don't care. I'll eat whatever I want to eat as long as it tastes good. When I'm gone, I'm gone. Let's be honest. I think I was young and dumb. I don't feel that way anymore. I think it's very important that I take care of my temple um, because it is my temple. Um, and exercise is important. I mean, even if you just do a little walk or even if you do a couple stretches, I think all of it plays a very key part. I get a lot of questions sometimes like when people buy our meat, they're like, well, I open it up. And it's not red. Why isn't it red? Uh, and the reason is, is because the only way to keep it red is, is they pump gases into the packaging that artificially create a red color. So the meat naturally is never that red. When you cut it and it's first exposed to oxygen momentarily, it will bloom. It's called, it'll redden up just a little bit and then it'll instantly um, start to brown out unless you pump gases into the packaging for about 10 minutes and artificially create this like red pinkish color so we get that question a lot and it's like you're like your meat's not fresh because it's brown it's like well actually it's way fresher our meat is brown because five minutes later it, it turns to that brown color and then we flash freeze it so you're like eating meat that's like metabolic like five minutes old versus the, that red fresh meat in the grocery store might be a month old and it's sat like that but they're using artificial gases uh in that packaging to create a color that's completely unnatural so how would people stuff. know if that's is there anything on a package that someone oh no they don't have to declare it if your packaged meat looks bright red then it is it is filled with artificial gases to create that it doesn't meat doesn't look like that but like no one knows that looks bright red and juicy but this piece of meat is not safe to eat believe it or not it's been sitting out for 11 days so how could it still look so fresh it's because it's being packed and gassed in a special process that most people never heard about using carbon monoxide carbon dioxide and nitrogen which keeps the meat looking fresh and bright red we left two cuts of lamb out at room temperature one was gas packed the other no gas after a few days the untreated meat turns a dark unappealing color but the gas packed meat stays red even after being left out for eight days the only visible sign of spoilage is the package puffing out and a bad odor when opened we had the meat analyzed in a lab and it's no surprise that both cuts are loaded with bacteria hey y'all so i noticed when i was doing my editing for this video that i did not react to this tiktok i don't know strange i know I did want to share my opinion with this. So I did notice um, when I go to the store, sometimes I would see that reddish pinkish color. And sometimes I saw meat that was brown. 
I always wonder, I'm like, okay, I don't want the brown meat. That looks nasty. But in reality, the brown, the brown meat was a more natural meat. Um, so I know moving forward, that is something I will be looking into. I guess we have so many things that's processed, so many things for us to visibly look appealing and it's just not good for us um hopefully in the future we both can go to the store and make better decisions but when you don't know you don't know but now we do bye we made it to the end of another tick and a talk <laughs> i'm so excited i absolutely love doing these re these reactions with y'all but until next time bye